This is CNN Breaking News. All right, and we have breaking news concerning the Sony hack attack. Our media correspondent, Brian Stelter, is here. A message came from the hackers? Last night, a message was received by a number of Sony executives uh, from the people they believe to be leading this hack attack against their company. In the past, they've received messages from the hackers, and at other times, the hackers have put out public messages. So you remember Tuesday's threat that led to the cancellation of the interview? That was made public. That was something you could find online on a site called Pastebin. But this one is different. This is directed to top executives at the company, to Amy Pascal, Michael Linton, and a number of other senior executives whose names I've seen on the email. I'm not going to share that part, but I do want to read you what the message says uh, because I'm, I'm frankly shocked by it. Uh, it says, it's very wise that you have made a decision to cancel the release of the interview. It'll be very useful for you. And then this goes on to say at the end, we ensure the security of your data unless you make additional trouble. So, Carol, sounds like a victory lap uh, from whoever these hackers are, effectively saying, you did the right thing by scrapping this movie from theaters. And, and as long as you, powerful, right? And, yeah, and as long as you keep it offline and out of theaters, we will, I think it says, stop attacking you. Well, so that negates its supposed Christmas surprise? That's what this new threat implies. You know, these are, <laughs> these are people that have invoked 9-11 and sent strange, threatening messages, so we don't want to take any of it totally at face value. But what the message here says is, quote, we still have your private and sensitive data. We, we ensure the security of your data unless you make additional trouble. Well, it does make you wonder what President Obama will say about this later today, because, you know, the Obama administration is loath to call this terrorism. Others are not. But clearly it's changing the behavior of Americans and what we get to see and hear. And that's a serious thing. And that, to me, speaks of terrorism. It, it, that is an intent of terrorism, right, to right. instill fear. And certainly fear was instilled this week. There was a decision that had to be made by these theater owners across the country to, to stand by freedom of expression or to give in to this fear, this concern that moviegoers wouldn't go to the movies and see any movie on Christmas because they'd be concerned about a physical threat from these digital hackers. The other interesting thing that I find out about this, this message, you know, they're doing this victory dance, but they don't come out and say, hey, North Korea's behind it, yay Kim Jong-un, right? Why not? That's right, there's no mention, and I'm just gonna double, you know, read this again to make sure. There's no mention of North Korea in this email, but there is a mention of the interview. The fact that they are naming the movie specifically and saying effectively, you did the right thing, very wise decision to cancel the release of the movie, uh, does mean they are explicitly tying their hacking to the movie. And you know, until recently that, that hadn't happened. Uh, when this cyber attack first happened in late November, uh, they didn't explicitly say they were doing it because of anger about the movie, the interview. Only more recently has that come out. And at times this is felt like extortion. You know, if you, if you go forward with the movie, we're gonna hurt you. If you don't go forward, we're not going to hurt you. And that's exactly what they're saying here by saying, quote, we still have your private and sensitive data. Well, the Department of Justice is going to release some sort of statement tying North Korea to this hack attack, and that's going to happen at any minute now. Evan Perez is on the case, right? So it'll be interesting, one, to see if the government uses the word terrorism, which we don't think it will. Mm -hmm. And two, it'll name North Korea, but there's got to be a reason that the hackers are not saying North Korea or Kim Jong-un in their point. messages yeah. to Sony. And but, I don't know what that reason is, but it just right. seems odd to me. And I'm looking at this, the subject line of the email was message from GOP. A GOP in this case stands for Guardians of Peace. That's the, the name that these hackers have given to themselves. And then it begins by saying, hi, I am the boss of GOP. Uh, and then it goes on from there. Yeah, One of the reasons that, why Sony believes the, this is legitimate, GOP, by the way. The Guardians of Peace, yeah. that's been used by North Korea before, but a long time ago in the 70s. Right, and people have seen that as a possible clue here. Right. All along, I've also thought another possible clue to this, and this is just, um, this is my speculation, but a bunch of Sony movies were stolen uh, and released online before they were supposed to come out in theaters. Annie, for example, which comes out on Christmas. But the interview didn't. The interview didn't leak. And that, to me, was an early sign of the potential motivations here, that they truly, whoever these people are, truly don't want this movie to be seen. But as you know, there's been a, a, a rising cry in the last couple of days that this film should be seen some way, somehow, online or something, because otherwise it is a capitulation to these hackers. Well, the, the other interesting thing that will come out of, of the statement from the DOJ and, of course, the president's news conference later this afternoon is, is what the United States is going to do, because you can't go to war over Seth Rogen movie, right? So you have to be careful. Some people have suggested that uh, covert action will be taken, and we'll never know what the United States has done in retaliation for this. I think that's very possible. I do. Uh, I will hope, uh, as a 
media reporter that some some impressive reporters will figure out what the action is, you know, and oftentimes these things do leak out eventually. Uh, but I think it's very possible there won't be a public announcement of what that is. All right, Brian Stelcher, many thanks to you. Thanks. We appreciate it. And of course, Evan Perez is awaiting that statement from the Department of Justice. When we get it, we will pass it along to you immediately. I'm back in a minute.